Hello everyone, you are watching Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. In the second session of Understanding PowerPoint Environment, we will discuss about tabs and ribbons. I will show you uh, what does that mean if we talk about tabs or ribbons. This is the tab area like file, home, insert, design. All these are the tabs. And if we talk about ribbon, ribbon is the entire the set of commands, the set of group which is under this particular tab. Suppose we click on design, then the group of commands from the left corner to the right extreme corner, this area is called the ribbon. This entire area is called the ribbon. And if we talk about the transition or animation, these are the tabs, transition and animation. Once you click on that, that will turn into a ribbon and give you the set of entire commands. So let's discuss about the ribbon. In ribbon, we'll find the commands needed to perform the task in the PowerPoint. Ribbon contains three components. The first one is the tab. This is the tab area you click on design, you click on insert. These are the tabs. They appear across the top of the ribbon and contain the group of related commands. For example, home, insert or transition animation. All these are the tabs. And the second we have is the group. If we talk about group, this is a set of related commands. For example, The group of commands between two lines, we can see certain lines here. I have placed my cursor here. There is one line here and the second line, the second on the right hand side. So this area is known as a group, which is named as illustrations here. If we click on home, then we do have different set of groups here. For example, font group, which give you some properties about the font, some commands about the font. So this area is known as group. Group can be understood as the commands of the related items which are aligned together. If we talk about this group, the paragraph, it gives you certain properties which can be applied on the paragraphs like the alignments, the bullet or numbering, the paragraphs that you can make, how do you align the text, how do you direct your text so that will us a group can give you the kind of similar commands then the third component of the ribbon is commands that is the smallest item you can say it appears within each group these are all these things are commands these are the actual operations that can be performed on the text or on the images or any item which is placed on the PowerPoint presentation. So that's why we say that ribbon is based on or we can say that ribbon is having the three components, the tabs, the group and the last one is the command. These are the tab areas that contains, these are the tabs, once you click on that home tab. If we talk about home tab, it means we are going to discuss about all the commands which are there from the left corner to the extreme right corner. This area is known as the tab or the entire home ribbon. Then second is the group. These are the groups available here, the set of similar commands, the phone, paragraph, etc. And the third one is the commands. The smallest unit in the group is the command, a single operation that can be performed on any task or on any image. I'll show you a picture that clears your doubts. This is the ribbon environment. You can have a look for a few seconds. Each tab is divided into groups. These are the groups available. Then click on the tab to see more commands. 
then the next one is the sum group will have an arrow that you can click for more options I'll tell you this point as well the next one is the special tool tabs will appear when you click on certain items okay if I'm selecting the text on my slide then there are certain group items which are getting highlighted for example the paragraph if I select the image I won't get any option to click here these operations cannot be performed on an image that's why these get grayed out let me select any text and I'll perform certain options certain commands here so once I have selected the text I'm getting an arrow here click on this arrow and you'll get some additional commands the special settings that you want to do that before the first line you want to leave some space in a paragraph then spacing between the lines these are the kind of options you can perform the additional options in the similar way in the font group you click on the icon here in the right bottom and you'll get the additional option here the strike certain effects here double strike out superscript subscript so click on the arrow and look for the more options then second one is the drawing tool or the format tool here yeah these are the additional tabs actually that appear once you select this particular text if you select the image then you will get the picture tool you click here and you'll get certain additional commands which you can relate or which you can apply on a picture once you click on the text then you'll get the option drawing tool there are certain additional options click on the drawing tool and you'll get some more options which you can apply on the text itself so these are the additional tabs which only appears when you select some stuff on your presentation then moving forward with the ribbon itself we have certain properties associated with the ribbons for example we can customize the ribbons as well as we have customized the quick access toolbar in the similar way we can customize the ribbons as well for example as we have selected the home group right click anywhere and you will get the option customize the ribbon click on this and you will get a list of commands here what you can do if you want to add a particular command here click on the new group option and you have got a new group inserted here now you can select any command from here from the current slide for example and click on add you can keep adding the commands in this new group anything you want you can add the commands in the groups only so it's important to add a new group first now click on ok you can see a new group here in the home ribbon or in the home tab we have selected we have applied some of the commands here so these are the commands you can see which we have added in the new group you can rename the group as well so this is how you can customize your ribbon if you feel that there are certain commands that you need to use again and again it's better that you can group all those commands and create a new group in the ribbon in the similar way you can customize you can add the commands in any of the ribbon customize the ribbon then you select the ribbon on which yeah first we have selected the home ribbon if you want you can select the animation transition any of the ribbon so that was about customizing a ribbon the another property of the ribbon is to minimize or maximize the ribbon I'll show you how we can do it you have an icon here on the right corner right top minimize the ribbon once you click on this the ribbon is gone once you click on this again the ribbon is back so minimizing and maximizing the ribbon if you minimize the ribbon you cannot see any of the option here 
once you click on the tabs only then you will be able to see the commands or see the groups inside those tabs or the ribbons yeah this way you apply the command and after that that is gone so this is also one of the property of the ribbon to minimize and maximize the ribbon that was all about the ribbon environment and about the tabs so what we have discussed in today's session is that what is a tab what is a ribbon and the components of the ribbon that is the tab the group and the command how do we customize a ribbon and the last we have discussed is the minimizing and maximizing the ribbon hope that clears all doubt about the ribbon tab and groups that was it for today's session thank you everyone for watching ajupedia world videos